Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review and a wear test of the Nykaa Mac to Last Pore Minimizing Foundation. So I picked up the shade 08Y Medium and uh, we are going to see how this foundation lasts throughout the day on my oily, greasy skin. I have a lot of large pores as well and I'm going to be priming only one side of my face and I'm not going to use any setting spray just to see how long this foundation will last on my skin. For foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline I'm 310 sun beige now if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to certified whenever I upload and now let's jump right in the video So first, let's quickly go over with the description and the features of this foundation. Now, it says that it minimizes pores within 15 minutes, 12 hours of lasting. So it has like a sensory liquid to powder matte finish, 15 shades for Indian skin tone. It is dermatologically tested. It is vegan, not tested on animals, paraben free and oil and fragrance free as well. Like I mentioned before, they offer a total of 15 shades and these are priced at 850 rupees for 30 ml of product. All right, so let's finally move on to the application. Alright, so let's go over with the formula, the pros and the cons. Now, firstly, the texture of this foundation is more like creamy, not too creamy. It almost feels like a mousse, but it's not a mousse at all. It's somewhere like in between. This does give like a very sheer coverage and it can be built up maximum to like a medium coverage. It also evened out my skin and you will have to work a little bit fast with this because it does dry out pretty quickly. If you have hyperpigmentation like me, then it will not cover it no matter how much you build it up. However, when I I did spot correct it then it kind of worked now for the side that I blended it with a brush it gave like a better coverage and it did settle into like a proper matte finish wherein the damp sponge it shared it out a bit more I had to build it up a little bit more and my skin looked a bit more dewy compared to the brush side now once it's fully blended on the skin it was very light and extremely comfortable on the skin it did not feel heavy or anything which I do like there was no stickiness or tackiness as well however I would suggest setting it with like a compact or a 
loose powder. I really like that the packaging is in a squeezy tube which is pretty travel friendly and the shade range is also pretty decent like it could be a little bit more better for the darker shade range but it is pretty decent. Now for the side using a primer and without a primer I honestly could not see much of a difference because this did a good job in minimizing the pores and even for the excess oil it was pretty equal on both the sides. And lastly for the staying power of this foundation now I have extremely oily skin as you guys saw earlier and I live in Chennai which is extremely humid throughout the year. So for my skin personally I would say like three to four hours and then I have to do like a touch up or use like a blotting sheet to remove the excess oil off of my face. And now for the FII there are two points. The first point is that there is no fragrance in this foundation however it does have a smell which smells more like makeup. And now for the cons there are two points the first point is to do with the pricing because these are 850 rupees each because this is the most expensive foundation within their own brand itself so yeah i was kind of surprised that it was 850 bucks because usually nika products range between like 500 600 or max i've seen is like 700 but 850 i was a bit surprised so that is a con for me. The second point is to do with the coverage. Now this is again a very personal opinion. The reason is because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my face. Even recently I have a bunch of breakouts which is kind of healing but the mark is still there and this even after building it up it did not cover at all until I went and did like a spot correcting or if I had to use like a concealer it would have helped. So yeah, the second con for me personally is also to do with the coverage. On a side note, I feel this should have been named as a skin tint rather than a foundation because coverage wise it does look and feel a lot more like a skin tint rather than a foundation. I hope I'm making sense but yeah. Overall, in my personal opinion, if you do not have any hyperpigmentation on your face, you want to use like a foundation for like everyday basis. And if your skin is either normal combination or even oily, but then if you're not living in a very humid place, then this foundation will work for you. However, if your skin is dry, then you will have to ensure that your skin is well prepped and very nicely moisturized before you apply this foundation. Oh, and if you're planning to buy it, do buy it during a sale rather than paying full price for it. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Nika Matte to Last Pore Minimizing Foundation and this finally wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to certified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try and best it for you as well as follow me on my socials with Shnair on Instagram and Shnair on Twitter as well. So until then, take care. Bye.